You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriot. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How you guys doing? This is the Hollywood Podcast. I'm your host, Safan. Find me in Minds, BitChute, Twitter, Gap.ai, Gap.com. And most importantly, like, share, subscribe on YouTube because it really helps a lot. On that note, guys, let's start the show. In this episode, I want to talk about what's going on in Puerto Rico. What's the pe- Puerto Rico people opinion on the president right now? In this article from the Daily Caller, it said Puerto Rican college Republican are raising money for a Trump statue. Wow. Can you believe that? A Trump statue? I thought Puerto Ricans is all Democrat Democrats. Democratic run. Puerto Ricans Democrat run. They have a Democrat governor. They're very they're like all these other um um Latin countries. They're very stubborn. All right. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be racist at all, but it's is um it's facts. <laughs> it is. But um I'm not trying to um belittling or anything like that but if they wouldn't be stubborn they wouldn't be in the situation they're in right now in the state of puerto rico and i have puerto rican friends and they they agree with me all right so i'm not speaking this just because i'm speaking i'm speaking because i'm hearing third parties saying say this stuff all right but um but let's 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 share this article i want to share with you guys it's a very short article all right i'll leave a link in the description below like always there you go. Puerto Rico College Republican are raising money for the Trump statue. I applaud these guys. I I, I thought there would, be, would not be any Republican in Puerto Rico. Apparently, I was mistaken. And let's hope not just Republican, Republican, but more conservative in Puerto Rico. All right. The College Republican Federation of Puerto Rico is raising money for the bronze statue of President Trump, which would be placed in front of the Capitol building in San Juan, along with walk away of the, along with, along the walkway of the presidents. The walkway currently featured a statue of nine American presidents who's made official visit to ni- the U- U.S. Caribbean territory. Right. Melvin Soto Vasquez, a vice president of Federation, spoke on the day the caller. Stephen Hamel discussed this effort. Vasquez said that due to the fiasco constraint um, curtailing spending of non-essential public work and heteracy of Puerto Rico, hesitancy of Puerto Rico, legislative leaders are apparently ap- appropriate uh, leaders to appropriate any funds are not wait Puerto Rico's legislative leaders to appropriate any funds hesitant to appropriate any funds commission for the statue. The college Republican decided to get it done themselves. It can't, exactly. You can't rely on the government. Government is least efficient. If you want to rely on something, the last person you want to rely on is the government. All right? The government is the least efficient, the least reliable entity out there at all. They want to take your rights away. They want to take all your freedoms, your sovereignties. But yet again, they want you to rely on them. But yet again, they're unreliable. All right? But let's continue. He said GoFundMe campaign has been named it Building 45. So far, they have only raised 2,000 of the of the 45,000 goals. Wow, this take a step much for a statue. All right. Basically, guys... Go to the GoFundMe account. All right. You can click right here. I don't want to link it. I want to get in trouble. But uh, maybe I'll link the link in the description below. But, um, yeah, they try the Hall of Presidents. And this is the day called. I don't want to get any copyright strikes. Maybe. Let's see this. In an era where big companies prefer PC narratives over speaking truth to power, we need your help. Of course, there has to be a ceremony to unveil the statue. And one, Sorry about the delay. Uh, uh, one, I think, interesting fact is that this will be the first statue of President Trump in the United States. So that will be historic.
Joining me now is Melvin Soto Vasquez. He is the vice chairman of the Puerto Rico College Republicans. He attends the University of Puerto Rico, Maya Guess. Thank you so much for being here, Melvin. I really appreciate your time. So, Melvin, the College Republicans, they're raising money for a project called Build 45. That is, you're trying to raise enough money to build a statue of President Trump, which you say would go in the walkway of presidents, which would be in front of the Capitol building in San Juan. Tell us about this project. Well, uh, Stephanie, thank you for having me. Uh, on the southern stairs of the capital of, of Puerto Rico, uh, we have a walkway of presidents that basically has a bronze statue of every president that has visited the island while in office. And the last statue to be put there was the statue of 44, or President Obama, after he briefly visited the island for a fundraiser event. Uh, President Trump has been, has been more than generous with Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. As you guys may know, the island was completely devastated. And he has signed billions of dollars uh, into the recovery aid more than any time in history on any catastrophic event. So we think it's more than necessary. That's what the mainstream media are neglecting to say about this. Right? If you watch the mainstream media, they're not covering this. They, they, they keep portraying as Trump is this evil entity right now. But they're 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 neglecting to report all the news of what Trump, how many how many executive order, how many bills he signed, how many all these laws he enacted to to fund Puerto Rico. But they're not they're not reporting that to try and make him as if this evil entity right now. But let's continue. For his statue to also be there. Melvin, you just said something kind of interesting, which you never ever hear, is that President Trump and his administration actually did a pretty good job handling uh, the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. But we'll get to that in a second. I want to talk more about Build 45. How much money is it going to cost to build this statue? And also, why hasn't it been built yet if they've done it for nine other presidents? So it hasn't been built yet because, the, according to the current administration, as you may know, Governor Ricardo Rosselló, uh, there is a because of the huge fiscal crisis that there is in Puerto Rico and the huge debt uh, that we basically don't have the funds, uh, or at least the public funds, to actually build this statue. Uh, we currently have a GoFundMe. Uh, if you search "Build 45" on GoFundMe, and we have a goal of forty-five thousand dollars. So, do you think that? the people of Puerto Rico are going to appreciate a statue of President Trump once you raise the money? Well, Stephanie, here's the thing. Many Puerto Ricans, uh, they might have a slight uh, misrepresentation of President Trump. They might not really know him. Uh, and I think we have we need to educate a lot of the people of Puerto Rico because, of course, the mainstream media uh, from the states and here in Puerto Rico, they have an anti-Trump agenda. So all the headlines are anti-Trump. But I think we can do our job, and, and that's part of our job as college Republicans, to educate the people and let them know how much money he has given Puerto Rico to help recover after the Hurricane Maria and how much he has helped uh, to battle these corrupt politicians that are basically just misusing the money. So it's going to cost you $45,000 to build the statue. What's the timeline? And then what's the process? Once you raise the money, how do you actually get it approved for it to go in front of the Capitol? Yeah, basically, we already established the contacts with the people who actually make the, the statue. And once we get the funds, of course, the statue will start, uh, they, they will start making it. Then we, are, we have some lawyers that are currently talking with the administration in order to see how will that process uh, get done. Of course, there has to be a ceremony to unveil the statue. And one... Uh, uh, one, I think, interesting fact is that this will be the first statue of President Trump in the United States. So that will be historic. So I want to touch on uh, Hurricane Maria, the aftermath and the recovery, since you brought it up. And you, you're, it sounds like you're giving the president an A-plus rating, uh, considering all the money that the administration sent to Puerto Rico. Why is it that we hear so much from the liberal media that President Trump's racist, he didn't want to help Puerto Ricans because they're brown? Like, we've actually heard that narrative, which is just astounding, because we know that's not true. Uh, yeah, it's completely false, and and it's very sad for the mainstream media to be like, to, to be having this sort of narrative. Of course, we know they have their own interests, but President Trump has given, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the greatest amount of money for aid after a catastrophic event in the United States. In the first few months after Hurricane Maria, FEMA gave over 9.9 .9 billion dollars uh, in aid for Puerto Rico. 
and uh, then more money has been given to the island uh, to help with the recovery. And just as recently as last week, uh, a bill was passed with $1.4 billion uh, that is also aid for Puerto Rico and that uh, President Trump signed. So uh, I, I don't think it makes sense that someone who is a racist, according to the liberal media or to the mainstream media, uh, will actually sign money for Latinos who are American citizens, but they are Latinos that live in an island in the Caribbean. Now, of course, there's still a long way to go. I mean, you guys are still suffering out there, right? I mean, there's still more that needs to be done. Yeah, definitely. Uh, or I think the money probably has been more than enough for what needs to be done. Uh, but there has been some misuse of those funds. Of course, there isn't anything uh, specific, like th there isn't any, but, but we have seen basically how they have misused the funds, buying unnecessary stuff, giving contracts to, to people who, who shouldn't be given contracts to. And this misuse of funds are the things that President Trump is so, he, he's, he speaks so much about. He speaks about the corrupt politicians in Puerto Rico, like the mayor of San Juan, Carmen Yulín. And even though he invited the governor, Ricardo Rosselló, to the White House, he sat in the White House with President Trump after the hurricane, we can see that also the governor, uh, sadly enough, has done some things that are not necessarily things that a good uh, governor that knows how to manage funds would do. So there are things that need to be fixed, and Trump, uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why we love President Trump so much. He has been very, very vocal about getting getting away, get, like getting out those corrupt politicians from the island and even in the swamp in, in D.C. That's an interesting perspective. And I want to uh, jump over to the fact that you're a Republican on a college campus and you represent a Republican, all the young Republicans in Puerto Rico. So um, what's it like being a Republican on college campuses de these days? You know, in the United States, they say that a lot of the college campuses are very liberal. They're kind of like liberal indoctrination centers. Republicans uh, are politically discriminated against. What do you experience out there? Well, Stephanie, in, in the college campuses in Puerto Rico, it doesn't go very far away from, from what you guys experience in the mainland. Uh, mainly all professors are liberals. And they teach that way. They they just have this anti-conservative uh, agenda. They they bring out all these ideals that they that they share, being pro-choice, uh, and you know being pro-open borders and that kind of stuff. And they talk a lot a lot against you know having a strong border security. They talk against. Uh, being, as an example, pro-life or many other of the topics, uh, they talk against the Second Amendment, which is so important here with the criminality rates that are going up in Puerto Rico. And that is our job in campus because we know there are many conservative students out there that want to be heard. They're just afraid of this of, of, of this campus indoctrination that's been going on. But we know there's many, many uh, conservative students. When you walk around with a shirt that says the name of a, of a conservative organization, when you walk again around with a MAGA hat, yes, there's people that, of course, uh, scream at you and, and don't like you. But there's also some students that go like, oh, I support that. How can I join? And that is her job in campuses to get that job to, to get that voice around and to gather those students in a common place to to fight for our rights and to fight for what's right. Interesting. So really quickly, how much have you raised on the GoFundMe? Where can people go to support you? Well, currently we have raised a little over fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, you can go into GoFundMe.com and just search Build 45. We named it Build 45 because, you know, President Trump is a president that likes to build. Uh, he is building America's economy right now. Uh, he is making it better. He is making it stronger. I'm 45 because, of course, that's the number uh, of our president. So just search Build 45 on GoFundMe.com and you can find the, the information right there. And of course, there Okay, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. He already explained how the situation is like in college campuses in Puerto Rico, how liberal it is, how unfair, how the liberal media screwed people, screwed President Trump over, not giving a fair trial. All right, like I said, I have a lot of Puerto Rican friends, and most of the Puerto Rican friends are very conservative to me. But there are some out there who are very brainwashed with the liberal media, with the liberal professor that don't understand that they don't have, they're not taking both sides of the story. They're just taking one narrow perspective and assuming it as true. And these, and the, this guy, 
th- he's saying that people need to change the way of thinking. They had there had to be some kind of um re- um reform, right? Because according to him, the college campus is the same as the college campus in Puerto Rico. I I clarified is the same as the one over in the mainland, which is the United States. Now remember, Puerto Rican is also considered as American. They're just in the island and different territory, but that they're still American citizens. So that that by default they're still Americans, right? And and he said he's proven himself. It's just because they live in the island, they still have conservative conservative point of view. They still believe there's a borders border border is a necessary thing. They believe in the conservative value, right? There are conservative va- people, conservative Puerto Rican in the in the islands, all right? It's just most of these people, the majority of them, are been been ma- manipulated, and the government has been um misfund misspending the funds. They're unreliable, all right? But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. You think. This is a good thing to build the statue. You think that the statue will be accepted by the Puerto Rican people? I'm guessing they'll be. They're gonna have to deal with it. Right? In my opinion, they're gonna have to deal with it. And and you know, like like I said, I have Puerto Rican friends. I'm not saying anything ill will against them. I'm just saying the people who are liberal and indoctrination are very naive. Right? They don't. They don't. Um, they're so close-minded right now because of the indoctrination they've been. All right, but let me know you agree. You think you think this is a step forward? You think the the statue will be invited? Let me know you agree because they're not reporting on this, right? Because I, because of reporting this, YouTube don't want to monetize my channel, right? Because I'm not monetized, I'm unscripted and rehearsed and edited. I mean, because they would have, or whatever I want without being interfering with outside interference, right? Because of that, I'm not taking any, any donations because the point of this channel is to spread out news to make people think and ask questions, ask authority questions, all right? That's for this channel. But you, one thing you can help me is by like, share, and subscribe to this channel because when you like, share, and subscribe, it in, encourages me to make more videos. What I'm encouraged to make more videos, it will saturate YouTube algorithm. Once it saturates YouTube algorithm, it will, it will spread my video to more uh mass demographic and that's the point of this channel to to make the masses question everything they want and if you like what i do please like share and subscribe on that note guys i know your time is very precious and i'm trying wasting your time this is the highly evolved podcast i'm your host Safan, and on that note guys thanks for joining me and i'm signing out peace